Places to visit in Mexico Topping the list of tourist adventures with the nation's great heritage, Mexico is a dreamland with a mesmerizing blend of diverse people, as well as imperial inspirations from Spain. This is your destination if you want to experience the best of culinary marvels, colorful musicals, and dance traditions. Mexico is a realm of color and contrasts. Crowded beaches leading to tranquil, colonial towns. While tourist cities open doorways to woods ringing with parrots and howler monkeys that make it a majestic country that can give you the most impeccable memories. Hey Travelers! Welcome back to your favorite channel, The Travelist. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and yeah, like the video for sure. The Yucatan Peninsula in the southernmost point of Mexico's eastern coast. The peninsula is noted for its geology, natural beauty, stunning coastline, clean beaches, including the Playa del Carmen and the Mayan ruins. The Riviera Maya, one of the peninsula's most well-known areas, is known for all-inclusive resorts, opulent villas, and rental yachts. Yet it's just scratching the surface of what the Yucatan has to offer. You sure wouldn't want to miss that. Not to be missed are the state's national parks, as well as the incredible underground lakes known as Cenotes. Furthermore, Merida is widely regarded as one of the most incredible sites to visit in Mexico for those interested in observing the Day of the Dead, a two-day ceremony held on November 1st and 2nd. Merida, Yucatan's bustling capital, was founded in 1542 on the ruins of the ancient Mayan city of Tho, and it now blends colonial and Mayan cultures into something really unique and distinctive. This vibrant old Spanish city is a gorgeous place. The Spanish built whitewashed palaces in the ancient walled town, and many of which have been painted over with various hues, giving the city its bright and distinctive aspect. It also has the largest indigenous population in Mexico. This adds to the city's strong sense of culture and history, piquing the attention of curious visitors who come to explore the nearby Mayan ruins and check if Mayan civilization is still alive and well in some form today. So can the area's Sinot ponds, the Maya remains of Uxmal, are well worth a visit. Poktapok can also be played in front of the Plaza Grande. Even though historians aren't sure of all the rules of this once popular Mayan sport, today's players play it rough and for fun. Or spend a day at Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza, on the Yucatan Peninsula, is the most well-known, explored, and beautiful of the country's many Mayan sites. This is unexpected because the most well-known construction do not follow the classic Mayan architectural tradition, but rather show a strong influence from other central Mexican cultures. Despite the hot weather and crowds, the spectacular ancient remains were named one of the new seven wonders of the world for a reason. Many of the city's monuments, temples, and palaces were built during the 9th and 12th centuries and are still in excellent shape. These temples exhibit a vast range of architectural styles and provide a unique perspective on Mayan society. Without a doubt, the Cucul Clan Pyramid, also known as El Castillo, is the most famous edifice on the site. The sandstone terraces of Chichen Itza's Grand Temple, Spire, were created to resemble serpents creeping down the pyramid's incline. Many visitors travel to Chichen Itza for a day of excursion, particularly for Cancun or Merida, but you can also stay for a couple of nights. Valladolid is yet another must-see for anybody traveling across the Yucatan Peninsula. The city is worth a visit and is noted for its outstanding colonial architecture, including the 16th century convent of San Bernardino of Siena. The city also houses one of the country's best collection of Mexican traditional art and furniture. Valladolid, more than any other colonial town in Mexico, features one of the country's most beautiful cenotes. With almost 6,000 cenotes, Zaki is considered one of the best cenotes in the Yucatan Peninsula. The cenote is unique in that it is situated in the center of Valladolid, rather than on the outskirts, as many others are. Put Zaki on your to-do list because you can enjoy the park-like surroundings for only a few pounds. Tulum is the Caribbean vacation location, to kick back and chill amidst nature. It used to be a sleepy beach town and is now competing with Cancun and Playa del Carmen for the title of Mexico's newest hotspot. For the time being, it has the advantage of not being as crowded as the neighboring Yucatan beach towns during peak tourism season. Swim through tunnels in nearby canotes before eating some of the best seafood you'll ever eat. The town is famous for its prawns. You don't want to miss this yummy delicacy. Sian Ka'an Biosphere Reserve is a must-see for a day trip, as it is a beautiful region of natural beauty preserved for modest eco-friendly trips. This UNESCO World Heritage Site seeks to be a model for environmentally friendly tourism while also supporting continuing conservation efforts. The Sian Ka'an Biosphere Reserve is home to jaguars, monkeys, ocelots and pumas, as well as marine life and flamingos. Truly awesome! While relaxing on Mexico's beautiful beaches, it's a great way to spend your time. 
Colonial cities like Morelia are ideal if you want to visit museums, art galleries, and soak in history. Many fights have taken place in this region, particularly during the Mexican War of Independence. Aside from the countless stunning vistas to see, the city is littered with monuments commemorating the different battles fought here. Morelia's historic core consists of pink stone structures that, in addition to their aesthetic value, provide a backdrop for a flourishing dining scene, theaters, museums, and tamale shops. One of the most popular historic sites in this colonial city is the Temple of San Francisco, which was built in 1610. Locals and government officials have worked extensively to maintain the interior's immaculate condition. It's now one of Morelia's most photographed temples, owing to their efforts. Campiche is yet another destination known for its colonial architecture. Archaeological monuments such as the Bican Ruins and La Zona Archaeologica Edzna and the ancient site of Calakmul. It's a treat for your eyes if you are a history enthusiast. A great number of tourists have visited Campache since it was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1997. Its formal name is the Free and Sovereign State of Campiche. The Chicana Mayan ruins as well as the Fuerto Museo San Miguel are worth seeing. With a 3,000 year history, Campeche is the best place to soak in not only Mexico's renowned history and various archaeological monuments, but also to relax along its beautiful coastline with great beaches. For those who love hiking and also enjoy history, head to Guanajuato. The rich soil of Guanajuato is reflected in its numerous, majestic and elegant architecture. The city boasts more magnificent colonial mansions than any other Mexican destination. Silver is still being mined here today. But that isn't the only thing that keeps the city going. It's also a well-known tourist destination. Take a walk through the city and admire the well-kept gardens and narrow lanes, decorated with flowers strung from wrought iron balconies. Plan a day trip to the nearby mountains for some hiking, then return for lunch and the best nightlife in Mexico. You can visit Jardin de la Union and Kissing Lane, for example. Plazuela de Los Angeles is totally worth a visit as it leads to the city's most famous street, Callejón del Beso or Kissing Lane, which is named for the fact that it is small enough for a loving couple to kiss from opposite windows. If this is not your cup of tea, we've got another destination for you. Oaxaca City is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which stretches down Mexico's southern coast and is rich in natural and man-made splendor. It's well known for its indigenous people, old and traditional Mexican customs, and a strong art and craft culture, all of which contribute to its popularity as a tourist destination. If you go to Oaxaca, you must try the famous mole, a complex sauce made from ground chilies, peanuts, sesame seeds, chocolate, eins, and other herbs and spices. Oaxaca has a small town feel despite its size. When you arrive, take a look around and take a tour of the surrounding area, which is full of barren stretches of white sand seashore, deep forests, and gorgeous waterfalls. It's now time to kick back and relax on Mexico's favorite resort island. Locals refer to the island of Holbox as Ila Holbox. The word Holbox translates to black hole in Yucatec, Maya. It combines traditional Caribbean beaches with brightly colored structures set against a backdrop of sparkling blue waters. Holbox, a Mexican island known for its stunning beaches and abundant marine life, is a popular destination for water sports, scuba diving, and snorkeling aficionados. Walking along the beach, shopping in the stores, or simply enjoying the native birds such as flamingos and pelicans will provide a quiet afternoon as you sit back and relax and take in everything that Ila Holbox has to offer. So that's it for today, folks. Mexico is a country rich in flora and fauna owing to its diverse climate zones, which range from barren deserts to lush tropical rainforests. Which was your favorite destination? Comment below. Before you start packing your bags to head to Mexico, like and share this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and push the bell icon for notifications. And we will see you in the next one.